According to Global Cancer Observatory data, in 2020, 16,083 new cases of cancer were recorded in Zimbabwe. A total of 10,676 deaths were recorded due to cervical, breast and prostate cancer. But now there is a new threat. Messi Marimbe gives us more. There is a cancer that is increasingly becoming common, multiple myeloma. Fears are that it could add to the burden. And more than any other time, patients need support. We have managed to, to identify about 194 patients out of the 262 screenings that were done by UZT Hematology Unity. Multiple myeloma has a number of symptoms and is often associated with old age. It can, however, affect those much younger. That patients come in with when they have multiple myeloma include kidney problems where they won't be passing urine or they'll have pain. Um, we have problems such as bone pain. A lot of patients present with the problem of having backache for many years that's gone undiagnosed. And another um, feature that is present is anemia where you have low blood which causes you to have less activity for your everyday activity, uh, everyday tasks. Cancer Association of Zimbabwe says most people are not aware of multiple myeloma and is often misunderstood. It is one of the common blood cancers, but unfortunately because in Zimbabwe we are more focused on the most common cancers, which are cervical, breast and prostate cancer, leaving multiple myeloma. So the general population is not aware of the multiple myeloma. So when they are diagnosed of multiple myeloma, you find out that the family members do not understand the type of condition to such an extent that something that it is linked to, it is HIV or it is linked to HIV, and there's a lot of stigma and discrimination. Because this type is not common to Zimbabweans, this has resulted in late treatment for most patients. We have noted that in Zimbabwe generally when it comes to cancer, Patients are presenting very late, not only multiple myeloma patients, but patients in general that are presenting very late. So palliative care becomes very imperative because he, he, they will need the support, maybe of the family, the support of the caregivers and so forth. The pricey treatment has hindered patients from getting a rapid treatment. Treatment uh, is one major issue where a lot of our patients have difficulties accessing because it can be quite expensive. Some of the more effective treatments would require to, uh, patients to pay upwards of $200 a week to be able to achieve them. So we find a lot of patients are going into either relapse or not having complete remission from the disease because of lack of funds. Zimbabwe Multiple Myeloma Consortium, along with their partners, have called out to government and other stakeholders to help them subsidize treatment costs. So what we are also appealing to the people, the business community, the people who can actually help those people who are suffering from multiple myeloma, is for the government again to subsidize for multiple myeloma. Otherwise, people will be then able to improve their quality of life through that financial support. Cancer treatment in general has always been very expensive. Patients will always need support. The consortium believes it can save lives with more support. For ZTN Prime, I'm Messi Marimbe. ZTN Prime, DSTV Channel 294.